This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, April 3rd. I'm Michael Groff. We've got a trough of low pressure moving through the region today and tonight, so an increase in clouds and wind, a chance of showers and thunderstorms in northern Arizona. But will we see any rain in the valley? We'll talk about that, plus a big warm-up for the rest of the week and maybe some interesting weather coming in here by the weekend and early next week. Let's talk about it. As we look outside this morning here at 5 a.m., mostly clear skies in the valley right now. 61 degrees to start the day at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 34, humidity 36%. The winds are light. The barometer is steady. Temperatures across the area right now, 47 the cool spot at Fort McDowell. Most of us are in the 50s, and in fact, low 60s dominate this map right now. Satellite picture shows clear skies here in southern Arizona, some clouds in the northern part of the state in association with that approaching trough and cold front. On the watch warning map, wind advisories, parts of Southern California, Nevada, and northern Arizona up along the rim. So Flagstaff over to Payson and Sholo. Meanwhile, uh, some dense fog advisories for much of the Plain States. We've got flood advisories in parts of the deep south this morning, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Tornado watches along the Gulf Coast around Mobile and Biloxi. And as of this recording, no tornado warnings, but certainly there were plenty of tornadoes and wind reports and wind damage yesterday uh, from Texas through Louisiana and Arkansas. On the convective outlook, another active day. As we've already mentioned, the enhanced risk of severe storms from around Mobile and Montgomery, Alabama, north and east to Albany, Georgia. The standard slight risk from around Tallahassee, north to Columbia, South Carolina. The marginal risk goes from Memphis all the way to as far east as Virginia Beach and Raleigh. So let's get into the details of our weather. We'll look at the models. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. Here comes the trough approaching from the north, so an overland trajectory. Not a lot of moisture with this system, but certainly it's a fairly vigorous system, good dynamics, so a chance of showers and thunderstorms in northern Arizona. Wind increasing here in the valley today. And some increase in clouds, we'll call it partly sunny by late this afternoon. Highs should top out in the mid and upper 80s. Here's the high res NAM tonight at 11 p.m. And we've been watching this trend for a while. Most of the operational runs, the deterministic guidance uh, from the GFS, the Canadian, uh, those models do not show any precipitation in here. The deterministic European run, the GFS ensemble indicates at least a small chance of showers tonight. The NAM certainly isn't showing anything here in the valley, although over northern Maricopa County could be an isolated shower. The bottom line here is, even if we do see something, it would be light. It would very likely be extremely isolated. So, going to leave the chance of rain out of the forecast. Could you see a sprinkle? Could you see some flashes of lightning tonight? I suppose so, but I just wouldn't bet on it. Tomorrow, all of that is out of here. A beautiful day. Mostly sunny skies will be in the mid and upper 70s. Should be a perfect day. Wednesday, high pressure builds back in. We start to warm it up just a bit. Low and middle 80s. Thursday, we're upper 80s to about 90. And same for Friday. The sky mostly sunny. Although you do see a trough beginning to approach the West Coast. A deep surface low near Portland, Oregon. Saturday, a trough continues to dig into the west. Winds increasing in Southern California, Southern Nevada. And in fact, this pattern starts to look a little wintry. Got plenty of snow in the Cascades. And much cooler temperatures will be knocking on our door. Meanwhile, we'll still be very warm on Saturday. Highs mid and upper 80s. On Sunday, boy, it's going to start to get windy. Increase in clouds. Most of the dynamics and precipitation with the series of Pacific weather systems will stay to the north. So not looking like any rain around here, but certainly some cooler temperatures. Highs on Sunday should dip back into the mid and upper 70s. Here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 10th of April. That looks like a wintry system. We've got much cooler air in here. The deterministic GFS has us in the upper 60s next Monday. I don't think it gets quite that cold, but the idea of temperatures well below normal, that seems about right. Highs low to mid 70s and the sky partly cloudy. Mid and upper 70s as we look ahead to Tuesday the 11th as that system begins to pull away. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday, April 12th. Another short wave looks like it's ready to move on in. 
but temperatures would be in the low 80s and conditions fairly dry. Looking at temperatures through the period off the European Ensemble, you see a little bit cooler tomorrow, warming up for the rest of the week, and then below normal late weekend, early next week. How many more of these downtrends and temperatures do we have? We'll see. It's been a very active weather pattern, and that may just continue through the month of April. Let's hope so. That'll wrap it up for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video comes back at you tomorrow morning. Thanks so much, as always, for watching. Leave your comments and suggestions with us. We read them all, and we will see you tomorrow.